Every morning I go out there, I put my thumb, my finger up, and see which way the wind's blowing, and that's all I got. <laughs> now I got a compass. I don't have anything. Why well, have it? Lake herring was one of the most abundant fish in all the Great Lakes. Um, and in Lake Superior, they harvested uh, up to 19 million pounds a year annually. Uh, in Minnesota waters alone, they were producing five to six million pounds a year. So it was just a very abundant fish. Uh, and then uh, through a variety of, of reasons, uh, attributed to overfishing, loss of habitat, but I think primarily the um, introduction of the rainbow smelt into the Great Lakes, uh, the populations have real, literally collapsed um, in the 60s and 70s. And for some reason, the smelt population at its peak in, in the late 70s crashed. Um, and we don't really know why it crashed, um, but uh, we think the population has remained low because of the amount of predators, the lake trout are coming back, the successful stocking program and so forth. So smelt populations have remained low enough to allow the herring uh, to come back. Um, one of the first fish I ever caught out of um, the lake was ice fishing in Schwamigan Bay and I caught this fish. I had no idea what it was. I took it to my grandfather and he says, oh that's a bluefin, you know, which was the lake herring. And, and so um, I've just always had a real, um, you know, strong feeling for the Great Lakes, and especially Lake Superior. And to see this become a natural system again, or at least as much of a natural system as it can be, considering all the disruptions that have occurred, uh, is just really rewarding. I mean, we've got, I mean, this is the leading lake of all the Great Lakes of coming back, um, you know, from you know, the devastation from the lamprey and the smelt and other things. It's a locally produced fish. It's a wonderful fish. It's you know high in omega-3 fatty acids, which is very healthy for you. It helps reduce um, you know blood pressure, triglycerides, heart, risk of heart attack. Um, you know there's even some anti-cancer causing uh, effects of the omega-3 fatty acids. So uh, it's just such a great resource to have it locally here. But now I think people are are thinking, you know, take advantage of what's available when it's available. That's a really good point, and that fits that local food movement. Berries are in season now, eat them now, yeah. and store them now. Yeah, so it's multiple positive things with this, yeah. It, along with this local food movement, the positive thing is, if somebody from the outside, and this actually happened, one of the, somebody asked a guy in St. Paul, he said, what's happening to the fishery up there? And he said, well, there were 400 of them, now there's only 25. It doesn't tell the story at all. I've, I've come to realize that the word we should use is this is a fishery that has gone through a transition, or it is still is in a transition. You can miss the real story by just going with a couple of numbers. It, it, it's in transition and has, it's a positive transition. It's more efficient and sustainable. There's not enough volume out there to obviously feed everybody, but we're a piece of a puzzle. It's kind of like the organic farm movement now. It's a piece of the puzzle. It's easy to 
demonize us in the nets, but there's another way to do it. But also, I, they think, well, I'm just one fisherman taking everything out there, which is ridiculous. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. You guys, I don't know how many people are behind me that I represent, but there are thousands of people behind me. My job is to access the resource for those people that can't or are unable to. And the resource does belong to everyone. So instead of me just visual, you know, you seeing just me, think of a whole bunch of people. You know, a single mom with two kids, an you know, elderly couple coming up the shore. They're all behind me. I, I mean, it's so gratifying. I go into the restaurant and people are happy to see me. And it's like wonderful, you know. And it, it, it just... It's so nice to, to go out there and harvest something, clean it, and deliver it to people, and it, it's, it's really what it's about.